Hey, God bless you guys, and uh, thanks for listening today. I want to give you a message today, uh, kind of picking up where we left off on Sunday with this idea of uh, the tyranny of the urgent and focusing and making sure we're doing what is important that we are um, coming out of a place of rest and refreshment in God so that we're focused clear on the purpose that he has for us and then we can we can kind of move out from there we can rock and roll and go do what he desires us to do and so um, I want to read to you a passage from Luke chapter 4 verse 42 through 44 it's really short it comes off the tales of Jesus doing a bunch of miracles and healings and casting out demons And when he was done with that, he knew that he needed to go get some rest. So he does. And it says, early the next morning, Jesus went out to an isolated place. The crowd searched everywhere for him. And when they finally found him, they begged him not to leave them. But he replied, I must preach the good news of the kingdom of God to other towns too. Because that is why I was sent So he continued to travel around, preaching in synagogues throughout Judea. The uh, New American Standard says that was the purpose that I was sent. So uh, as we think about this idea, Jesus, here he is, he's doing miracles. And the people want him to do more miracles. But while they still desire him to do more miracles, he leaves this uh, urgent work. And he goes and he gets alone. He still goes and moves into his place, his quiet time, with spending time alone with his father. When the crowds finally come and find him and beg him to come back, because they still have a purpose for him, they still have things they want him to do, they're not done with him yet. And sure, there's things he could have done there. But he said no. I know my purpose. I know what God has called me to. I got to move on to these other towns. I must preach the good news of the kingdom of God to these other towns too, because that's why I was sent or that's the purpose that I'm here. And so he knew, you know what? There's always going to be people that have needs and always going to be people that have something they want me to do. But before he was willing to help them with those things, he needed to get alone and rest in God and say, God, what is the thing you want me to do? What is my purpose? What is the reason that I'm here? And I I just want to take a minute and encourage you in this because some of you have a laser uh, sharp vision of what God has for you. And some of you, man, it's blurry and you don't even know. For either of you, you're going to lose that laser sharp vision if you don't spend time resting in the presence of God and be letting him continue to keep that crystal clear for you. And if you don't have one, you're not going to get it by following some workshop or seminar or even lesson that I talk about in our MVP school of ministry. But you're only going to find that when you get alone in the presence of God and he puts passions and purposes into your heart when he gives you things that you're passionate about and you're burdened by then you'll begin to see a a purpose and a vision arise within you man we can't do things out of exhaustion or out of somebody else's desire or urgency for us to help them we have to do things out of rest in christ and that he would clarify uh, a vision within us as to what his desire is for us to accomplish. So today, a hundred people are gonna tell you what they want you to do. My question is, are you gonna take the time to ask God, God, what do you want me to do for you today? Everyone else is gonna tell me what they want me to do for them, but are you gonna ask God, God, what can I do for you today? God bless you guys. Thanks for listening and keep growing.